What's up single players, J Scott Brown here for only single player today, giving you an exclusive first look at Legend of K Anniversary. Now as you can probably tell from the fact that Anniversary is in the title, this is actually not an original game, it, the original release came out in 2005 for the PlayStation 2 and that, that was developed by Neon Games and it has since been re-released now 10 years later in 2015 on PC, PS4 and Wii U I believe and probably a couple other systems there as well. But basically the gist of it is that it's been remastered and republished by Nordic Games. And it's more or less the exact same for the most part. Uh, if you played the original, you're, you're probably going to notice that. So let's go ahead and jump in and continue from where I'm fr uh, actually from. And oh, okay, we're, we're in the, the meat of it right now, straight away. That's fine. So if you're actually unfamiliar with the franchise, then probably a little confused right now as to why there are cats and rats dancing about and I'll happily explain why because <laughs> I, I actually um just for full disclosure sake I, I have played the original game I never finished it and I think I, I didn't play it for very long but I, I, ha I did play the original game back in 2005 on the PlayStation 2 um, and yeah as you can see it's like it's very the, there's a very much uh, a layer a coat of polish that, uh, I'll shut for a sec. While this, uh, bunny congratulates us. Why you don't drop by for great pleasure to give us? Yes. Sounds good to me. See you right soon, gay. All right. Thank you. Thank you, baby. Yes, it's just definitely gotten a, a fresh coat of paint, uh, so to say. Especially graphically, it looks a lot better, a lot, a lot more polished. But simultaneously, I think you just, you can probably tell from that cutscene there that the animations are still the same, I believe, from the PS2 version. And so is the voice acting. I'm, I'm, I'm relatively sure. I, I, from what I can tell, watching videos on YouTube of the original game, the voice acting sounds relatively the same. So I don't think they got the voice actors back. So it's, it's in some ways a good remaster, and in some ways it's maybe... Not the best remaster, but I'll leave that up for you to decide. So as I said, you're probably a little confused to see a cat running around with a sword. And that's, uh, in clothes and a martial artist. That's probably understandable. Basically, the context of this game and the, the theme that it kind of operates on is essentially the characters in this game are these anthropomorphic animals of a variety of sorts. You got cats and rats and gorillas and all these crazy wild animals, basically, on, with clothes on and um, and weapons and such, and 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 fighting out with, with diplomacy and all this crazy stuff. And essentially, the idea is that uh, it's 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 doing this cute little theme where the gorillas have enslaved all the cats, and uh, because because basically the animals used to live in harmony, but now they're all disjointed, and the rats are trying to Basically, I guess the rats are kind of like the Hitler of World War II trying to like take over and dictate the entire animal kingdom and destroy their spiritual past and stuff like that. So there's a lot of like really interesting themes there and they're all kind of presented in a really cute way. And I think, it, I think it's, you know, it's, it's good enough. It's, it's certainly a little bit cheesy, but simultaneously it's, it's really enjoyable. And as I said, it's really cute. And, and it's it's quite fun. So that's that's the context of where we're at at the moment. Basically, as I said, the story so far is that you're playing a, a cat called K, and he, it's it's essentially his destiny, his journey to uh, fight back against the gorillas that have enslaved his uh, his fellow catsmen, catsmen and women. And uh, yeah, so and you probably noticed as well. Like I probably didn't even have to say the fact that it was a anniversary game from 10 years ago because you can tell just in the style of how it plays uh, it's a third person action game very much Zelda-esque uh, very clearly I, I believe there was one room in the game that I walked into and it was just pots everywhere that I just that you just destroy and get uh, get money hello sir hello my young fellow you must what's this guy doing too loud your reputation precedes you oh thank you recounts endlessly how you defeated the rats and the rats. voice acting actually is really good in this game though. I should say that. I hear you're after our friend, Cat. Got that right. It's personal. 
closed my fighting school. Well, maybe maybe good isn't the village. the most Nobody's accurate word. Stand up to that scum sucking cheese breath. It's it's uh so, it's funny. <laughs> the same thing you do to us. Our only hope is some protection from the dragon taught she. Like I want to imagine the voice actor was like yeah, holding his nose. <laughs> But we cannot reach it anymore because the bridge is damaged. To get there, we have to solve the secret of the three dragon statues. But the rats inhibit us. We need the three rubies, the dragon's eyes. Legend says that the dragon will help those who solve the secret of the dragon statues. Damn straight. We had found all three rubies. But always, when we tried to activate one statue, our brave scout says got caught, and the ruby was taken by the rat. You saved baby, and he carried Kill. our last ruby. Just imagine yeah. what will happen when the rats enter the gotcha. dragon's cave yeah. Shut up, I can't skip this, so I'm sorry. Would grow even larger. I feel weird talking over the, the voice actors, wish. it feels quite rude. I'll handle this. Oh yeah, I got it. Count on me. Count on me. Alright. To no, too loud, go away. They want to enchant Torchy with their evil magic. Like what they have done with Borax. Torchy would be controlled by their will. He'd be turned against us and every other peace-loving peoples. No problem, Tulao. I'll convince Torchy that he should protect you guys from now on. You would do this for us? <laughs> oh my god, yeah, I'll do it. Just go away. <laughs> Here is our last ruby. Here is our last ruby. Okay. Look, okay. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just give me my money. Yo, alright, catch you later. Just a sec. Oh my god. Going to open the tree portals for you, so you have access to yeah, okay, shut up. Go away. Good luck. <laughs> oh, good <up>. Okay. <laughs> we finally ditched the rabbits. I've like completely forgot my point, because that cinematic was quite a while. <laughs> that was quite a long time. But that's okay. We'll just, uh, we'll roll with it. So, so, oh, I, okay, I can't remember. Basically, yeah, it's, it's a third-person action game, very much Zelda-esque, and you, you, you'd be familiar. I mean, it's a, it's a PS2 game, right? It's a PS2 third-person action game, and it's it slots so perfectly into that kind of uh, the zeitgeist of that time and, and the games that were coming out. It's, it's exactly what you'd expect. And maybe the cool part about this is that we don't get games like this too much anymore. These third-person 3D platformers that are, are really stylistic in their in what they are we don't really get them uh too much in a contemporary sense they these these games usually get him boys you must be tack listen don't bother me catnip west we're after that pesky dragon i need six men or seven no no six men okay thank you um, as I said, the voice acting is quite comical. I believe at one point there's like a character who literally has like a Bill Clinton voice and it's like so weird. It's, it's so strange. Like I want to imagine there were four voice actors in this game and they all did different voices. You, you Alright, cool. But it's exactly that. I mean, the combat's relatively refined. It's, it's quite nice to play. There's not, there's nothing really too, I guess, unique about the fact that it came out during that PS2 time, that PS2 era. It plays exactly like you would expect, and maybe that's, uh, as, I, as I was saying, you know, that, that this doesn't really, these games don't come out really that much anymore, with the exception of Ukulele, that's currently being kickstarted, because people want games like this. There's, there is a demand, and as I said, it's a relatively good remaster for the most part, but uh, in terms of graphically, anyway. There we go. Alright. Come up. What do I got? Do I have to blow this up? No? Oh. Okay, where do we go? These buttons? No, they're not buttons. Uh, it even has the third person action weird puzzles that <laughs> that uh, usually pervade these types of games where like them they they're kind of puzzles but they're not really puzzles it's kind of weird uh, I think I have to go through there so we'll just bop around here uh, maybe it's did I just come from here look we'll go back if that 
freaking rabbit starts talking to us again, we'll just... I don't know, we'll stab him. So annoying. Actually, no, yeah, we don't go here. Um... Yep, yeah, okay. Oh my god. Oh no. What did I do? What have I done? Okay, good. I thought I was about to watch that whole speech again. There we go. Come on. Come at me, bro. These rats ain't shit. Alright. Well, we could just keep doing that and farming money if we wanted to, if we were so inclined. Um. Oh, whoops. Did we do that? Alright, can we blow that up? I'll blow that up. Uh, it's not entirely clear what you can and can't blow up just because the textures kind of look, tend to look the same sometimes. Maybe go through here. But I quite like it. It's a, it's a nice refresher into, as to what uh, we used to get back in the day. I last saw him heading towards the dragon's cave. Hope he's not up to no good. All right. Um, I'll just buy a berserk potion since I just accidentally used it. That might be smart. You can get this berserk potion, which makes you, like the name says, <laughs> strong as a berserker. After you drink it by yourself, a new heart by yourself, by yourself. you can get this, you can get this All right, cool. berserk. Max out the health for now. And just gonna save, there we go. So I feel, uh, feel the boss fight coming on. So, I actually didn't pay attention to that guy, so I assume I'm supposed to... Yeah, yeah, just chuck it in there, I'll be right. Don't worry about it. It's like splitting the atom. Yeah, it's just like, don't worry about it, just put it in. Just do it. Don't think, just do. Oh, how am I gonna get, a, oh, am I gonna get back up? What the shit? Alright, come on. Jump, boy. A lot of jumping, a lot of jumping puzzles. There we go. Okay. So, can we actually get across here for now? No, we can't. Um, <laughs> what do I need to do? I think I need to go find all those statues. Maybe I could, if I could go down there. Oh, it's a nice little a cat Buddha. Alright, so that's an optional quest. But yeah, no, I really do like the style of this game. It's a, uh, it's just, it's just really cute. I mean, as I said, the voice acting, the the style of uh, the aesthetic of everything, the way characters kind of move and the way their overall the the demeanor is just really cute for the most part. There's not really any way to dislike it unless you found it really cheesy, which is I, I, that's fine as well. I think that's I think that's reasonable. Uh, I don't really can. Oh my god! Again, are you cereal? Come on. That's right. We can uh, we can play around with the combat a bit. Maybe show you a couple of things. Basically, the the system works on like a. Com the combo system basically is when you're fighting enemies, after each hit, if you tap the, the Y button or the uh, triangle button, you will like kind of do like a roll or a, a dash to them, letting you obviously uh, continue the combat. And it's really cool because they, they integrate, they, the game integrates that with jumping puzzles and in really cutesy ways like that. And that's really, can be uh, kind of satisfying. I believe I came this way, actually, so... I might not solve too much by going this way back, but we'll explore it anyway. Because there's money here, so you may as well. Alright, okay. Can't, can't jump there, apparently. 
Fair enough. Alright. Ow. Just go over here. Oh, wait, but how am I supposed to get over there if I can't? Can I jump on... No, it's like the viney thing. Uh, what, do I swim between it? Uh, no, no, it doesn't like that. Not a fan of that one. Maybe, speaking of the combo system, maybe I could string it together on those piranhas. Let's try that. Ow. Oh, well, let me do it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that's... Oh, Alright. Lost a life there, but okay. We'll, we'll, we'll handle it. Nah, I can't even attack the piranhas. Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> let's just... <laughs> let's just ignore that. Um... How do we get across there, man? Go all the way around. Hey, now that uh awesome. Ow. Alright. There we go. Now that I mean it's so it's so clear that I, I honestly didn't even have to say at the the top of this video that it was a remaster because like it's just so clear. The style of this game is, is so evident in the fact that it came out in that era of just adventure games and PlayStation games that were all doing a similar sort of thing in different ways with their own with their own a unique sort of spin. And actually, it, I gotta say, it is refreshing to play a game like this after so long of uh, maybe games taking themselves a bit too seriously. Because, of course, we, we do know that games don't have to be fun, but, you know, it certainly helps when they are fun. It certainly is nice when they are fun from time to time. And I think Legend of K essentially embodies that, maybe, ideology yeah. that... Because that was a very, a very, uh, dominant... I, oh, my God, okay, I'm just going to keep vamping until I actually land on that platform, because apparently it's going to take ages. <laughs> but essentially, um... Yeah, he did it. Legend of K really does uh, really does embody that philosophy that games are about fun. I mean, the aesthetic proves that. the The gameplay itself actually hey, kind of demonstrates that. Dragon statue off limits to cat. Give up. You never beat a strong magic powerful army. Stop blubbering, cheese breath. Draw your weapons and fight like rodents. If you vermin are even worthy of the name. Oh shit. Damn. Sick burn, bro. And arguably, that you could, you, I, I could see uh, someone maybe, maybe critiquing the combat. Maybe it's a bit simplistic for some people, but I, I don't think it's any more uh, deep than a Zelda or something. Essentially, this is. This is Cat Zelda, really. <laughs> I mean, I could I could describe to you this game in you know many many different ways, but ultimately it, it is Cat Zelda. It is in a lot of ways. It is it is uh, really trying to fill that spot and and do its own sort of 3D adventure type thing, uh, while still being a 3D adventure game, uh, beat 'em up spectacle type thing. All right, let's activate. Oh, I don't have a dragon. I, don't I think. Have a dragon's eye ruby left. Now, what did Tulao tell That's me? That's rude. Oh yeah, go to the rat's camp. It's very, uh, very helpful that you remembered that and then said it out loud for me. Thank you. All right, rat camp. Oh, I can blow this up actually. There we go. Oh, what is that, actually? I want to use that to see what it is. Alright, so this is the combo thing where you can use it to dash around. And that's kind of... That's really nice. I like... I like that, that has a real visceral feel to it. I like doing stuff like that. That is quite satisfying. Oh, God. Yep, that didn't... I didn't expect that to last very long at all. A successful... <laughs> Jumping successfully for more than twice in a row. Oh god. Nah, botch that. Jump. 
Oh my god, are you kidding me? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I should just end the video now because this is humiliating. No, nope, you know what? We're going to do this. This first look does not end until Jay learns how to jump on platforms. Man, this is what I'm saying. I haven't played a game like this in so long. <laughs> my, uh, my jumping abilities have just gone so downhill. There we go. Bam. Bam. And we saved the little bunny. <laughs> that wasn't me, by the way. I have no luck, you know. Just when I arrived at the hair tree, those scurvy rats caged me again. But I'm not giving up. Hope I don't need you again. Oh, I hope I don't meet you, you prick. Who says that? Who says that to a person? That's just rude. Alright, activate this Buddha statue. And I'll probably get to the rest of those a bit later. And let's head on down to... The rat camp. Clear it out. I mean, it feels quite obvious why they pick rat. I mean, like, can you imagine the enemies being dogs or something? It's like, they'd, they'd be too lovable. Rats are this, like, scummy, like, awful, disgusting thing. So it's like, of course rats are going to be the villains. I'm going to use this item, actually. I don't know what it does, but we'll see. Uh, I assume it just healed me? Yeah. Must have healed me. There we go. Alright, here we go. You mess up. Trap a cat. Nice uniform. I hope for your sake it's tear resistant. Tear? Oh, I, I, I read that in the subtitles as tear resistant. And I'm like, both of them kind of make sense because they'll be crying after we beat them. But tear resistance also. I like tear resistance though. Okay, that's my, that's my one critique of this game that I want changed. Tear resistance. Much more edgier. There we go. Oh my god, give me that money. Who disturbed me? There's a gorilla. Stupid rats. Can't beat a mangy cat. But don't worry. Gorillas know how to squash little kitty. So if I was to uh to read into this game a little bit more metaphorically, it would be maybe not entirely insane to suggest that the gorillas are representative of humans. And so, before the gorillas were introduced, and all this, this, this era of war was introduced into the world, uh, the animals lived as in harmony with one another, and existed uh, harmoniously. Totally. Like, with the, in peace all the time. But as soon as the gorillas came, they took over, they took charge. Coincidence? Conspiracy? Illuminati? I think, I think so. <laughs> but actually, the, like, look, uh, putting the facetiousness aside that, that's actually kind of interesting this whole like anthrop because gorillas are essentially the closest thing to humans besides I think chimpanzees so look man I don't know it could be it could be a nice little metaphor there in, in, a, in, a, in a game for kids it'd be interesting to study this game with such literary detail <laughs> right, another health potion awesome Alright, where are we going from here? Ow. Ah, oh, there we go, we got the dragon back. Cool. Oh my god, okay. This is not... Really that... Oh, there we go. I thought, I thought there'd be more jump into that, but okay. I did not look particularly attractive at all. If I'm being completely honest. Alright, so which way did we go? We went... Um, I believe... In the caves? Yeah, let's go in the caves. Why not? Oh, you know what? We're going to have to fight that whole group of rats again. They're going to appear again. They totally are. Oh, wait. No, it's not this one. Uh, 
Uh, probably in here. Oh god, that was, that was close. I actually don't know where I am right now, but we'll just keep going. Alright, I should have probably insinuated that when I saw it was called Rock Fall Chasm. There we go. Yeah, actually, we'll find the... <laughs> we'll find the dragon eye that, like... Or the one that we're looking for where... That we already kind of cleared everything out. It should be down here, I believe. Claim, just came through this way, didn't we? Yeah, this is like the this is the rack camp. Hmm. Get all this shit out of the way. Someone in here? Hello? No, not too. Um. Okay, I want to find that dragon statue. Cause I want to have some resolution, so we can uh. Wrap up this first look for you. Alright, you know what? We'll go ahead and save. Because we've seen pretty much everything we need to see for a first look. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching Legend of K Anniversary Force first, first look. It's only single player right here on the channel. If you enjoyed what you saw today, if you played the original and you want to check out the remastered anniversary edition, it's currently on Steam for, I believe, 20 bucks. But it has that the original. It has the, you know, typical Steam 10% off on release. So if you want to get it slightly cheaper, you can go ahead. You know what? Let's get the statue. That's how we're gonna end the video. We're gonna get the secret fat cat Buddha statue. That's our resolution. Bam! Nailed it. Nailed it, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel. Give it a like down below. Follow me on Twitter at jzeke. Follow only single player on Twitter at only single player official. And that is it for today. And I'll see you next time.